Hello, I'm Brett Dubner, and today we are going to discuss the Telemann Viola Concerto. There are three principles that we are going to discuss today that relate to the first movement. One is tone, how to make a beautiful tone on the viola. The second thing we're going to discuss is vibrato. And the third thing we're going to discuss is bow speed. All of these three things together help to make a consistent musical idea. It is considered a medium to easy level piece. I happen to think it's actually a very challenging piece and we're going to discuss some of the elements that I think are important to achieve a successful performance of this piece. <laughs> play this movement, you want to create a sense of line that is very connected. We do this through vibrato. If I use no vibrato, it sounds like this. the vibrato, it sounds like this. Another important aspect of this movement is tone. And when I speak about tone, I speak about the color of the sound. Now we can choose where to put our bow on the string. We can play very close to the bridge and it has sort of a, an icy sound. Which is not very nice. We can also play on the fingerboard. which isn't a very good sound either. We want to have the bow in between the fingerboard and the bridge. And if we play here and add vibrato, we have a big sound. Very often we are taught to make a loud sound by pressing and using our arm like this. And it sounds like this. It has kind of a heavy sound. But I think the best way to make a big sound is to have our arm level and floating. So the bow is in between the bridge and the fingerboard about here. We keep vibrating and we're going to use a lot of bow. And when I have a crescendo, I'm going to use more and more bow to create that crescendo. Listen to this. So I think when you are practicing this piece, if you think about a continuous vibrato from note to note, also, if you think about where your bow is on the string, is it too close to the bridge? Is it too close to the fingerboard? Or is it right in the middle? Also, start to think about your bow speed. When we make a loud sound, we don't want to press. Instead, we want to vibrate more and use a faster bow, and that will give us a big sound for this beautiful piece.